welcome to another episode of Playing Outdoors. This is going to be the first unboxing and review of a product that uh, I think we need for this new season. This is a new ice tent that we're going to be doing the review and unboxing with. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And here is the new tent. Oh, there it is. Well, this is it. This is the Otter uh, Vortex Pro Monster Lodge. Now, this just came out. I went online trying to find reviews on this thing and there was nothing. So I figured to put a review and an unboxing and basically this is the first double size um, ice tent uh, with uh, with a fully walked out door and um, last year they, they came out with one but it was a smaller one and this year I think I believe all the whole line is now have a front door so we are coming from um, a, an Eskimo tent which we love Eskimo don't get me wrong but we needed something that uh, that we we can use our wooden flooring, which you probably saw previous videos from last year, on our wooden our wooden flooring for our 9409 i and uh, we wanted to use that flooring in here. Now, yes, it's going to be half the size of the tent, but uh, that's where we'll be sleeping, and it'll be a little bit more comfortable on that end. But you'll probably see that in a later video on how we're going to set the interior up. This for now is just going to be our unboxing and uh just looking at the actual size um i mean i yeah you can see it online what the size are but uh physically there um we can just see uh exactly how it is and how big it is my brother's got the uh eskimo 850 xd this is 134 square feet fishable area the eskimo 850 uh, xd is 114 square feet so uh it's 20 feet uh 20 square feet larger than that and uh we'll just check it out and see how it is when we set it up so we're probably gonna do a time lapse of uh taking this off I'll, I'll take everything out of the box and show you again exactly what it comes with and then we'll do a time lapse of uh, putting this up all right Basically, the biggest difference I see now from the uh, Otter and the Eskimo is that the Otter actually zips on the top. Um, I know my 949, um, the opening is at the end, which is, I mean, a little bit more more work to put it back in, but uh, I, th I think this is uh, pretty good, especially that it's pretty oversized. So, we'll see how... Uh, how this is to uh, take apart here and uh, over there is a little bag there I believe those are the poles for uh, the doorway uh, we'll probably see that in a second here so well, let me just uh, unravel this So it's a little more interesting. Um, over to the bag more. And this little envelope here, which holds, which holds the anchors. Uh, it comes with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 anchors. And this is great. We can never go wrong with more anchors. So that's a pretty cool. Um, it comes with this little, pack here for your I believe some states need some licenses and whatnot to be displayed here you don't and yeah so so far so good
So one thing pretty cool is that uh, the strap that keeps everything together. Actually, it's a nice heavy duty strap. So basically, all you need to do is just put it through and pull. And it stays. I mean, I don't have to worry about pulling and then Velcro, which is okay too, but this seems a little easier to pull and have it cinched up, especially if you're all by yourself doing this, this would be great. So that's a nice heavy duty clip there. Just uh, putting up the door frames here. Uh, it comes with three poles in that separate bag, and uh, this just secures the um, the walkthrough door frame when the door is open, and it just makes it more stable. It's very easy to put onto these uh, these poles. Uh, it's all just clicks with the. Um, little holders here in each corner and um, yeah it's just pretty pretty straightforward I thought it was a little bit more to it than that but uh, it's pretty simple okay so there's a couple things in this new tent that just inspecting it love these with side windows these windows on the side so different than the Eskimo we had uh, the normal windows on the top is great um, side ones good there are pockets on each side here there and there's like a little tiny pocket here for uh, rod holders going on now I noticed a couple of differences here um, basically there is these guys which I, I, I took this apart and then some of them were all done and some of them weren't. So, I mean, it's a little bit more for security, which is great to see. Check this out here. And there's also the propane hole here for access to the propane. And there's one on the other side. So one on each end, the long ends, there's propane. Uh, the vents, as I can tell here, there's one here in the front, here, and across kitty corner to the other side. Okay, and that's those are on the shorter ends. Now, inspecting these poles, pretty good poles. Nice and thick. I did notice some of these had some extra glue. I just don't know if that was because how they built it or if it was a repair, but this is brand new. But not all of them have it. But I guess it's normal, but there is still warranty, but hopefully it'll 
stay together and just a little bit there just a little bit over from glue there other than that this is this is huge this is a big space here and uh i think this will work there is some storage you can put here on the top and also kitty corner there's another one here now i wished that how they're on here with little tiny loops that you can like remove them i wish they had those loops on the other side where there isn't any so you can so if you can change it we can but there aren't any loops so i guess these have to stay where it is and uh just have to hopefully that you know they would think to put more loops if you wanted to purchase more of these or or change the configuration put two instead of one on each side how we're going to have it is basically on this side we're going to have our wooden flooring and we have bunk beds that'll go on this side our double bunk bed cots and um, on this side here is where we're going to fish basically mostly at night but this is huge this is pretty big this is the one window and this is a this looks like velcro pads in there so that's the pinholes from sewing that on other than that I'll just turn here this is how dark it is in here which isn't too bad at all some of the seams you can check here has got some pinholes but very dark pretty good and uh, I think um, this is dark enough for any purpose here so let's just open this up I think we're good so the difference is between this one and last year's is this front walkthrough door which is great so you're not tripping over that small little door we had that we got used to but this is just amazing. Um, I mean, I like the Eskimo 850 XD, uh, but uh, this is 18 square feet larger. So, so this is the Vortex Pro Monster Lodge that is brand new for 2023. Well, it came out at the end of 2022, but uh, for this is for the 2023 uh, season. All right. Now for the exterior. Now there's this tab here, uh, this little bungee cord. Uh, I guess it, uh, you can actually put it in the same anchor. Um, just have to tighten up the strap on top um, just to make sure it's everything's all tight. I mean, at night we do have sometimes strong winds and it pushes it in. Even when um, the tie down for the middle hub is pulled down, sometimes you can see it flex. But with this, it just seems like it'll, uh, it'll be a lot more stronger. And then um, now for the tie downs, um, as you can see, these were already on the tent itself. It was just tucked into those uh, the holders. And the funny thing is that uh, this whole tent um, from every every side, or there's two on this side, of course, but every one of them's got a tie down. And uh, I know with the uh, the X50 XD, the 850 XD, sorry, um, it came. It comes with only three, so. This came with a lot of tie downs, which is awesome. As we were looking around, uh, we were just trying to figure out where we're gonna put the cots and uh, everything, but uh, you'll see that in a later video, how we're gonna set the inside. Um, but I think we have a lot of room to work with and this is gonna be pretty good. All right, so now we're just packing it up. Um, so summary of this tent, um, the build quality is great. 
Um, there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, comparable to the Eskimo, I, I don't see anything wrong with the Eskimo either. Uh, I believe it's just, you know, all just preference, really. Uh, they're all very similar, just different color, in my opinion. Um, with the Otters now, um, this is just a bigger size, and it just works better for us. Um, but all than that, like, um, tear, on, on teardown, uh, as you can see here, it's a pretty easy uh, teardown. And the bag itself, uh, as you'll see, is easy to put in there. Uh, the size, um, I have a Tacoma, so with a six-foot bed. And the length of this is just from the front to the back. It's just a little bit smaller than six feet, so it fits perfectly straight in the bed of my Tacoma and I was worried about that I'm um, getting into this but uh, oh I'm overall I'm pretty happy and hopefully you guys like these videos and please like and subscribe if you like these and uh, hit that bell icon so you guys can have a notification when I have a new video up but again this is the start of the 2022-2023 season and uh, we're gonna have a lot of content for the ice fishing part of this so this is gonna be great I'll see you guys in the next one. Let